Police say they're still trying to piece together exactly what's happened and how the two incidents may be linked. In the last hour, Detective Inspector Dean Begby updated our reporter Katie Todd on how things unfolded. Just after 4am, one of our uh, officers was uh, driving along Pukitona Road uh, near Kirikiri and had a car pull out in front of them uh, and slow down. So our officers stopped behind that vehicle. Uh, two people have got out from uh, the vehicle and approached the officer as, as she sat there in the vehicle. Um, as they've got close to the car, she's seen that uh, they both had firearms in their position um, and she started to reverse then to give herself distance between uh, herself and uh, the two people. Um, as she's done that, one of them has fired a shot which has struck the windscreen of the vehicle. Um, she's been able to react uh, quickly and, and get distance and uh, get away from them and retreat and um, look at uh, getting assistance there to, uh, to help her deal with that situation. At what stage were you made aware of the possible link to a kidnapping um, slightly further north? Yeah, in the... Um, what we know is, is obviously in addition to this matter, we're also investigating a kidnapping incident. So we were contacted by the victim of the kidnapping matter um, this morning at around 8 a.m. So they'd made their way to an address in Matauri Bay and uh, contacted police from there. So our staff have gone up and spoken with the victim there. So what we understand has happened there is um, he's been the victim of a kidnapping last night, uh, which has occurred at Waipapa, which is very close to Kiri Kiri uh, as well. Um, and uh, stolen in that incident was a, a grey-coloured Nissan Skyline, which is um, important to our inquiry. Uh, that vehicle was located having been burnt out on Pukitoto Road in the early hours of this morning. And what we're trying to do is just establish whether that event um, and that vehicle are possibly linked to uh, the shooting at our officer on Pukitoto Road and we know that the vehicle involved there was a silver sedan vehicle, but we yet to confirm whether the two are linked and obviously just in the early stages of our inquiry. And what do you know about the offenders involved in the kidnapping? Uh, there's a number of offenders involved in the kidnapping. Unfortunately, at this point, um, we still need to get that detail, so it's too early in the inquiry to, to be able to uh, speak to that at this stage, but we hope to have that detail uh, very shortly that we will be able to then seek further assistance around that matter. OK. And what's the situation on the ground in terms of police resourcing looking for the offenders involved in both these incidents? So we've got a really good team of investigators there that are working hard to try and uh, identify uh, exactly what's happened in both events and obviously find out uh, and find the people that are responsible so they can be held to account. OK. And where are you looking? Uh, at this stage, it's an early stage of the investigation, so we're conducting our scene examinations and speaking to witnesses. Um, so there's a number of uh, inquiries being conducted on the ground as we speak. OK. What reassurance can you give people in the north that um, this won't happen to anyone else? In terms of reassurances, I can, I can speak to the fact that we're doing everything we can to find these people. Um, and it's always concerning uh, for us when our staff are going about um, doing their roles to keep people safe that we have members of the community that have been prepared to use a firearm against one of our officers as is occurred here and in the case of the victim of the kidnapping that uh, unnecessarily violence being used against that member of the public too so um, I can just assure them that we're doing everything we can to resolve these matters and to hold the people responsible to account. And how is the victim of the kidnapping doing? Um, how are they holding up? They're obviously shaken um, and it's been a uh, traumatic event for them uh, but we're supporting them and uh, working through this case with them. And you're appealing for help from the public. Um, what are you looking for? Uh, we want to hear from anyone that knows anything about either of these events. Either they've heard or they saw something uh, overnight um, or since then, that will be important to the inquiry, particularly the movements of this grey Nissan skyline and any other vehicles of a similar description in the mid-north uh, over last night and the early hours of this morning. And that's Detective Inspector Dean Begby.